Hey, so as good as a pair of big comfy granny undies are, sometimes you just want something a little more, you know, lacy. And so today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own cute lace underwear. For this project you will need a stretchy piece of lace that is 4 to 7 inches wide. Mine is 6 inches wide. The wider your lace, the more high-waisted your underwear will be. The first thing that you need to do is measure your butt. The measuring tape needs to wrap around your butt and your hips at the widest part. My measurement is 38 inches. Then subtract 4 inches off your butt measurement. This brings mine down to 34 inches. This is the length that you will need to cut your lace to. So cut your lace, and then cut this piece of lace exactly in half. Divide by two to get your half measurement. And make sure each piece is this length. Then fold both pieces of lace exactly in half. It's a good idea to pin them together to make sure that they stay this way. Then you need to cut out a small piece of lace from these folded bits. Measure 1.5 inches across from the raw edges, 1.5 inches up from the bottom, and draw a rectangle with a rounded edge. Then cut this out. Repeat this on both folded pieces, and then unfold both of the pieces. Place the two pieces of lace on top of each other, with the right sides together. Pin them together at the ends to make sure that they stay together for the next step. And then sew like this. Now you can either use a machine zigzag stitch, an overlocker, or you can hand sew using a zigzag stitch, and I'll provide links for that in the description. But if your sewing machine has one, it's a good idea to use a stretch stitch, as it will hold the fabrics together a bit more strongly than a zigzag stitch. You can then trim off any excess lace from the seam allowance. Next, we're going to make a gusset. Cut out a piece of lace that's 3.5 by 2.5 inches. Extend the 3.5 inch measurement to 4 inches if you're making plus size underwear, or to 3 inches if you're very thin. Then cut a piece of 100% cotton in exactly the same size as this piece of lace. Put the two pieces right sides together, pin them together, then sew down these two sides only. And you can just use a straight stitch here. Turn the gusset inside out, and you should have something that looks like this. Then, going back to your main piece, turn it the right way around so the seams are on the inside and flip it round so that the seam and the two crotch pieces are in the middle. Then attach your gusset to the front crotch piece right sides together so the cotton piece of the gusset should be facing upwards when you pin it to the front of your underwear. Then sew across this using either a zigzag stitch, or if you want the seam to be super professional looking, you can use an overlocker, like I did. Then you just need to attach the gusset to the back, much in the same way that you did it for the front. The gusset needs to be attached to the other crotch piece, again right sides together. Now it's easier to sew this together if you turn your underwear inside out first. Sew across this to attach the two together. And this is what it should look like from the inside of the underwear and from the outside. And that's how you make cute lacy underwear. Now, for somewhat obvious reasons, I'm not going to be filming myself wearing these and putting it on the internet because they're see-through. So you'll just have to trust me when I say that these fit really, really well, they're really comfortable, and they're really super cute. If you don't believe me, you'll just have to try it out yourself and upload a picture of your creation to Instagram and hashtag it DIYAnnika. And that's it from me today. I'll see you all next time.